Hey guys, Hacks for Tech here for another video, and today we're going to be talking about five different ways that you can make completely free calls using Google Voice. Uh, now, Google Voice, I've talked about this in a previous video, is a completely free service that allows you to make completely free calls in the U.S. Um, I believe it also allows you to make calls to Canada, but I know it's completely free in the United States, um, and there is no limit to how many calls you can make, so it's a really great tool to have available, um, especially even if you're just using it for the purpose of kind of being able to make calls um, from your desktop machine or other devices maybe that you wouldn't be able to make calls from. Um, so I'm going to be going over five different ways that you can make phone calls using Google Voice. So here you can see I have voice.google.com signed in. I'm signed into my profile here. And from here, when you log into the actual web application, um, from here I automatically have a dialer that I can use to make phone calls. Okay, so what I have here is a phone number that's already pre-populated. And what I can do is I can go ahead and just click on the call button. And that's going to go ahead and initiate the call to uh, whoever I'm dialing. So we'll go ahead and try that. Okay, so as you can see, I was able to uh, dial out a phone number here from voice.google.com. And uh, again, it's very easy. All you have to do is just type in the phone number into the search field here. You just type in the phone number and you can enter it here. And you can either um, use your mouse to click on the different keys here to enter in the phone number that you want to dial. Um, or you can use your keyboard to enter that number and to initiate the dial from here. So this is the first way that you can um, dial out with Google Voice. Uh, again, all you have to do is go to voice.google.com, create an account, uh, you can use an existing Google account, and then once you come here the first time, you'll be able to choose a phone number, and you can even choose one in your local area code, um, especially if you wanted to use it with your existing phone number as a way to port back and forth. Or also, you can check out my video that I did on how you can actually forward your voicemails to Google Voice as well. So this is the first way. The second way that I wanted to show you is using Gmail. And in Gmail, you can see here that uh, while I have my email interface up here, I can go through and be browsing my emails. I also have the option to make a call directly from Gmail. In the bottom left-hand corner, you can see where it says make a call. Um, I just click on that and it brings up my dialer here. And in the dialer, um, I can actually enter a phone number as well. So that same phone number that I dialed earlier, I can just go ahead and uh, type that in here. Okay, I just looked it up. Actually, Canada is um, considered, since it is international, it is not one of the ones that are free. So it's only U.S. Uh, is free, and there might be local options as well. But um, yeah, so this is, is mostly for anything in the U.S. So if I wanted to make any local calls or anything within the U.S., of course, it's completely free here. Um, so for this particular example, we're going to have the same phone number pulled up. And if I wanted to Thanks dial this, type it in, Colonial. and I can click on Call. Today we are open from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. So as you could see, it's it's very easy to initiate a call and to kind of manage that call in Gmail as well. Um, ultimately, it works the same way as voice.google.com. Uh, there's really not a particular reason um, that you would need to use one of the other. Again, this is just multiple ways that you can kind of serve the same function here, but you can do it through uh, Google Voice's main website or web page. Uh, you can do it through Gmail, and then we're going to look at our third option here which is Hangouts, and Hangouts is, of course, also available on mobile devices as well as through your web browser. If you go to hangouts.google.com, um, the same way that you can send messages, uh, do video calls, you can do phone calls as well, and all I have to do is click on the phone call option here. I'll simply click on the new conversation option, Thanks and I'll go ahead and key in my phone number that I want to dial and click Day on the call option. Tomorrow we are open from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. So again, as you can see, it's a similar interface to what you have in Gmail, um, your standard dialer. Um, you can key in either using your keyboard or the keys that are on your screen. Um, so you can easily make calls here from Hangouts. The next option here, there's a fourth option that I'll just talk about, which is um, sort of an obvious one, and that is the porting function. Um, if you go into the settings on googlevoice.com, uh, you can actually port it over to whatever phone number you're using as your main phone number. So if you wanted to, for example, anytime someone calls your Google Voice number, if you wanted to um, 
receive that phone call through your primary cell phone or whatever phone that you designate, you can do that. Um, so if someone dials that Google Voice number, then it'll ring on your cellular device or any phone number that you choose to port it to. Uh, and then once you pick up the phone, you'll be using uh, your Google Voice number for that call. So that's uh, a great way to be able to kind of link everything together. That way, if you wanted to have uh, more than one different phone kind of linked to the same place, you can have your Google Voice number kind of be the hub for all of your different phone devices, um, especially if you wanted to link work with personal, for example, if you had like a home business or whatever the case might be, you can kind of link things together. Um, and also it gives you that ability to customize your um, voicemail greeting whenever someone gets your voicemail. Whatever you choose to use for Google Voice is now what will be used with whatever those phone numbers are that the Google Voice number is porting to. So just something to consider there that's really easy to set up. Um, but if you guys don't want to use LTE, for example, to take a call over your cell phone device, the final, the fifth option that we're going to look at is Talkatone, which is the best option that I've found to be able to make Google Voice calls from your cellular device, from a mobile device, without having to actually use your LTE connection or specifically without having to use um, you know, the same mechanism as taking a phone call. So for example, um, if you don't have a phone that supports Wi-Fi calling and you're in an area where you're in sort of a dead zone and all you have is a Wi-Fi connection, uh, Google Voice traditionally will not work on your smartphone to be able to make the call if you're only using the porting function, which means that if I opened up the Google Voice app and I wanted to dial out, it's going to use your traditional dialer. It's going to uh, dial just as if you were dialing someone from your um, your built-in phone number on that mobile phone, on that smartphone. Uh, however, if you use this app, Talkatone, um, it's purely using the Google Voice technology and it's um, specifically using uh, your data connection, your Wi-Fi connection or whatever you have. So if you have LTE, you can use that. Um, but again, if you're in a situation where you don't have a signal to be able to uh, make a traditional phone call, you would be able to use this as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection. And so here you can see that just looking at some of the features here, um, it's very similar to uh, any other sort of free um, option like uh, text free, for example, uh, or text plus or the different options out there that give you the ability to um, make free phone calls except with this because you're using Google Voice there's definitely not a charge or a fee of any kind um, there are advertisements on it um, but other than that um, they're they're fairly unintrusive and you can make unlimited calls uh, and receive unlimited calls through it again which is great if you want to be just using the Wi-Fi connection and plus because it's using the Wi-Fi connection um, potentially the call quality could be better and I've actually seen it in some cases end up being better than if I was using um, the traditional Google Voice app which is just again using my my standard dialer um, so something to definitely consider if you're trying to make Google Voice calls from your smartphone um, the app is completely free again I don't think there's a paid version or anything for this particular application um, but you can download that for free I'll have the link uh, and information in the description for all of this as well so guys, that's it. That's really all I wanted to cover in this video was just, again, five ways that you can um, make Google Voice calls, either from your PC or from a mobile device, completely free. Um, definitely, if you guys don't have a Google Voice account, I encourage you to get one. It's completely free, and there's a ton of different ways that you can use it um, to be productive. Now, before we go, I did want to talk about a way that you can support my channel for free. There are also some other ways that you can support my channel um, in the description, so check those out uh, if you'd like. And there is also an option to donate if you would like to. But if you'd like to support the channel completely free, one of the ways that you can do that and one of the easiest ways to support this channel um, is accepting free stocks uh, through Weeble. And that is something that uh, there's really, again, because it's no cost to you guys, um, you're actually getting something out of it as well. And you can see here I've actually made um, a separate video even to cover uh, the different ways that you can get a lot of different free stock options. Um, but in this particular example uh, with Weeble, you get two free stocks potentially. You get one free stock just for creating an account that's completely free to you guys. Um, but also if you guys want to deposit some money into the account, if you actually plan to use it to trade stocks, you can even get a second stock completely free. Uh, if nothing else, definitely sign up, open up a free account because you get one free stock just for creating that account. 
and it's valued anywhere from $2.50 to up to $250. While you might not always get the higher end of that, it's definitely nice to be able to have a chance at the $250, but if nothing else, it's a couple dollars completely free to you guys. Um, so definitely check that out. Links in the description along with other ways to support the channel for free. Um, again, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.